Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a streamer over on Twitch four days a week, but on Fridays I post first time movie reaction videos, and that's what this is. Because this past Sunday was 4th of July in the United States, I figured I'd do an appropriate movie. <laughs> Hence why we are watching Independence Day. As with all the movies that I watch, I know nothing about this one. The only thing that I know, and I just saw it a few minutes ago because I had to put the movie up, was that Will Smith is in it. And that's it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on this. As per usual, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support. And for the people over on my Patreon, I really do appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much for that support over there. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of those full unedited reaction videos. And if you would like to see the full unedited reaction to this movie and to any of the other movies that I've watched, feel free to go over to my Patreon and it's $5 a month for that. Without further ado, let's get on into it. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction to Independence Day. Let's get started. It's gonna get right into it. All right. <laughs> oh boy, why do I feel like this is gonna be like, clearly it's about a war or it's gonna be about a war or something. Oh no. What? What is this? Oh no. Is this an alien invasion movie? <laughs> if I see a giant shadow going over the moon, I'm gonna think, yeah, yeah, all right. Aliens are coming to Earth, oh boy. Oh, happy 4th of July, everybody. It's the end of the world as we know it. Yep, that's, that's the appropriate song, I think. Uh oh. It's probably not good. I think you should listen to this. Ow. Oh! It's the real thing. A radio signal from another world. Ooh. The calculated distance from source is only 375,000 kilometers. Well, everyone's gonna die. They are truly just throwing us right into it. Wow. I'm pretty surprised, actually. We estimate that it has a diameter of over 550 kilometers and Jeez. a mass roughly one-fourth the size of our moon. It's, oh, it's, pretty <laughs> it's pretty big. It's pretty big. I have a confession to make. I'm sleeping next to a beautiful young brunette. It's gonna be a... Oh, I was about to say it. It's either gonna be a kid or a dog. Excuse me, Mr. President. It's the Secretary of Defense. Yes. We got a problem. <laughs> Did you say that again? <laughs> Aliens are literally about to crash into Earth, so, um, what we doing? <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, this is, oh god. See, the fact that that's, that satellite's getting so small. My social security will expire, you'll still be sitting there. <laughs> hey, Jeffy boy. Been what, four years? You still wearing a wedding band? Three years. I three, four, <laughs> you're divorced. Come on, move on. This is not healthy. No, this is not healthy. The smoking is, is not healthy. <laughs> X Files two. Oh my god, he is writing his oh my lord. David! David! What the hell's the point? Yes! <laughs> he was in Mrs. Doubtfire. Point the dish at another satellite. We tried that, it didn't work. And probably all it's dead. No, they weren't even there. Satellites. But they I did. It's impossible. Isn't that the kid also from Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh my god. I got a whole goddamn crop full of these. Your father's not in the air in 20 minutes. I'm getting someone else. Oh. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing? Whoa. Oh, goodbye. It's the wrong field, you idiot. Lucas's farm's on the other side of town. Ah, he is a drunk. And he's flying a plane. Also really good, yes. I wonder if we get to see the aliens. Or is it gonna got, kinda be like one of those situations where it's like they're there and they're attacking, but we will not see them. What now what's this? What what the hell is this? Oh my god. Isn't it possible that this thing may just pass us by? I don't think so, Chief. Pass us by. Our intelligence tells us the object has settled into a stationary orbit. Part of it is broken off into nearly three dozen other pieces. Oh get over fifteen miles and with themselves. Jeez, this is freaking huge. They should be entering our atmosphere within the next 25 minutes. Well, that is just not good. Oh, yeah, y'all gotta go. Oh, no. Oh, boy. 
right, here we go, here we go. What? <laughs> oh, no! Ladies and gentlemen, we are interrupting our regular broadcast to bring you extraordinary events taking place in the Russian Republic. This is clearing the mountains, moving too slowly to be a comet or meteor. Oh, God. Panic. We have an AWAC off the west coast. ETA with contact point three Is minutes. it going to be like hitting major cities or something? I, I wonder. Oh, I feel like they're going to crash right into it. We still have zero visibility. Maybe clearing. Well. And goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Two more have been spotted over the Atlantic. One's moving toward New York, the other's headed this direction. How much time do we have? Less than 10 minutes. I want you to get the vice crisis. president, the whole cabinet, and the joint chiefs and take them to a secured location. I'm staying. Well, that's just Atlantic. not, this is, this Let's is not great. Right <laughs> I guess you can't really do anything. And what happens if they do become hostile? And God help us. Wow, we're, we're really just being, again, I, I just think it's insane that it's like 20 minutes in, we're in the, the thick of it, you know? Which means that it's going to get miles worse, I guess. I got a lock on the pattern of that signal, and so we can filter it out. But my calculations are right. It's going to be gone in like seven hours anyway. It's reducing itself every time it recycles. So eventually it's going to disappear. Interesting. Jamie says this building has an old bomb shelter. We're heading down there now. Oh, that's right. convenient. Oh, oh, I better call my mother. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so what he was saying was pretty interesting, actually. That it should basically disappear in seven hours? Interesting. Well, I know you're probably still a little confused from your hostage experience. Hostage experience. <laughs> Seems years back, our boy here was kidnapped by aliens. Did all kind of experiments on him and such. Tell him about it, Russ. I think when he uh, he probably did have that happen. Yeah. Okay. No wonder he's drowning his sorrows and feelings and ugh in alcohol. Uh oh. It's odd because, like in space, you see these ships and then here it's like these clouds of fire mommy look it it's too early baby you might want to take a look at this mama uh oh and here comes will smith not even a four pointer back to sleep <laughs> unbelievable yeah everybody's like oh shit <laughs> Oh, okay. I was about to say, why these are just literal clouds of fire with no ship. But here we go. We're good. See, even if they're they weren't hostile, which you know that they're gonna be hostile, right? It's still very intimidating. <laughs> Fuck that! Like, what do you even do, right? You can run, but like, <laughs> where are you gonna go? <laughs> Yeah, not great, huh? Hey, babe, it's something on the news about the quake. Yeah, the quake, yeah. What you been doing out there? Shooting aliens. Oh, you shooting aliens, right? I think he's starting to realize something's up. Uh, yeah, he's like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah. You know, that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> David, talk to me. You hear me tell you that the signal hidden in the satellite feed is slowly recycling down to extinction? Not really. Countdown. Countdown. We're gonna count down to what? Oh, David. boy. They're positioning themselves all over the world using this one signal to synchronize their efforts in approximately six hours. The signal's gonna disappear and the countdown's gonna be over. And then what? Checkmate. Oh, Probably. Oh yeah many of us feel a sense of hesitation or even fear we must attempt to reserve judgment <laughs> he's your husband what do you want uh you go to the white house <laughs> they're communicating with a hidden signal they're going to attack we're just being paranoid it's not paranoia the embedding is very subtle it's probably been overlooked if i wouldn't call paranoia in this situation considering there are these giant Fucking flying saucers flying overhead over all the main capitals in the world. 
remain in the White Unbelievable. House. Unbelievable. If you feel compelled to leave these cities, yeah, please I do would. so in an orderly fashion. Orderly my ass. Wow. Uh -uh. Come on now, you can't go. You got to call them back. I've got to report to El Toro. But you said you was on leave for the fourth. Yeah, well, they canceled it. I really don't think they flew 90 billion light years to come down here and start a fight. Um, we'll get all rowdy. Why don't you get some things packed and you and Dylan come stay with me on the base? And you will see that there is nothing to be scared of. It's very confident about that, you know? Very confident. I wouldn't be so confident. The big old Dumbo ears. <laughs> Not the Dumbo legs. ears. <laughs> Jesus, good God. You still have the Plymouth? Hey, but you don't have a license. You're driving. I don't think licenses matter right now. I really want you out of Los Angeles. I'll leave as soon as the interviews are done. There's a helicopter waiting. They're going to take you to Nellis. Can't this thing go any faster? Well, you think they don't know what you know? They know. Believe me, they know. They don't know this. Let's just get there as quickly as What's possible. What's the rush? Huh? You think we'll get to Washington and won't be there? Oh, my. Yeah, well, honestly? Night on Earth. You don't want to die a virgin. I thought they were siblings. Ooh. Come on, we're going. Oh wait. No, okay. Going Never mind. They are. Sorry, they had similar hair. <laughs> Let you out? You damn right. They got bigger fists to fry now, believe you me. Come on, boy. LAPD is asking Los Angelinos not to fire their guns at the visitor spacecraft. You may inadvertently trigger an interstellar war. That would absolutely be part of the newscast. Don't shoot the ships! For the love of God, don't shoot the ships. Oh, you want to do the honors for me, man. We regret to inform you that despite your excellent record of service, you need to like kiss some serious booty to get ahead in this world, man. See, I like the one knee approach because it puts the booty like right oh my God. in front of the lip. What is this? Jasmine kind of has a thing for dolphins, I don't know. Uh you said you were gonna break the hope. Man, you're never gonna get to fly the space shuttle if you marry a stripper. Oh, okay. Hundreds of UFO fanatics who have gathered on rooftops here in downtown Los Angeles to welcome the new arrival. Oh God, I hope they bring back Elvis. It's insane because that would absolutely happen. And it would be my generation and the younger generation on those rooftops being like, yo, what's up aliens, yo, what's up? <laughs> I came in tonight. Oh my god. I've got a really bad feeling about this. I don't want you to go. Now promise me you won't. He's gonna go. I promise. Mm. He's gonna go, she's gonna die. Yeah. In front of the White House are protesting the military involvement with our first contact with the alien visitor. I really feel like a lot of this so far is pretty accurate to what uh we would do as a nation. Uh, I can use her signal, triangulate her wow. exact position. Wow, God, he's smart. Uh, don't hang up, sir. David. Do me a favor, walk to the window. <laughs> How does he do that? Smart cookie. Pentagon officials have retrofit the stylus helicopter with a type of visual communications device. <sighs> oh, no. Welcome wagon is in the air. Oh, God. This is not going to end well. David, I don't know how happy he's going to be to see you. Because last time I saw him, we, uh, we got into a fight. He yeah. walked in the room and punched him in the head. I don't have time for this. Two minutes. Connie, David, you have to Dave, tell Connie. David, tell him! I know why we have satellite disruption. Well, I found a signal hidden inside our own satellite system. They're using our own satellites against us. Right, okay. The clock is ticking. 27 minutes? Tell them to evacuate as many people out of the cities as they can. Get those helicopters away from the ship. Call them back. Yeah. There's something happening here. Oh, God. They're dead. They're all dead. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for your service. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Did anyone else see that coming? Anybody? My wife in the air. She will be shortly. Nine minutes. Wow. So everything is about to go to shit. Oh my god. They're literally. <laughs> no, girl. Oh my god. They're all gonna die. Oh no. 
I, why do I feel like she's just not gonna make it? Yep. Goodbye. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is so bad. This is so bad. See, this is terrifying. All of it. It's just awful. Holy sh... Holy shit. No. Oh my god. The fact that they made it is bonkers. Oh, well, she's dead. Boomer, no! Yeah. No! Not the dog! Come on, Boomer! Go get in there! Yes! Yes! Holy shit. Absolutely just... Oh, so many people are dead. But hey, Will Smith's girlfriend is alive. That's pretty, uh... We could have evacuated the city's hours ago. That's pretty insane. Any news on my wife yet? The helicopter never made it to Ellis. I freaking knew it. I knew that I had that feeling. I, I, oh. Where's Boomer? Wait! Yay! Don't be scared, man. Nope. You? Nope. Hold me. Oh. Hey, pay attention. Something you want to add to this briefing, Captain Hiller? No, sir. Just a little anxious to get up there and whoop E.T.'s ass, that's all. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what those, like, little tube things they got. I'm not really sure what that was. Oh, is it a... Is it a... Okay. Looks like it's a cigar. E.T. had a target. Four minutes. Oh, good Lord. I shouldn't have left her. I'm sure she got out of here before it happened. I feel like that dude's gonna die too. Oh my god. Lock and load. Free. This is not gonna be good. It's just not even. It's not even gonna affect them. Oh. Yeah. Force field. Nah. Nope. Yeah, definitely pull up. Yeah. Now that was just foolish. What the fuck are those? <gasps> Holy shit. And they have little protective. green shit at me. They have these little protective shields on them too. Damn. Wow. Yeah, everyone's dying. There's. Squadron leaders, retreat to fall back position. Support mission. Support mission right away. You think we don't have to make a run for this one here? Let's get low. Let's get fast. I can't shake him. I can't shake him. Oh no. Yeah. Wow, like, I don't see a, a positive ending to this movie. Holy shit. Come on again! Come again! Well, Jimmy didn't last too long, huh? Jesus Christ. Yeah, not good, not good. Oh, shit! It crashed! Are we gonna see an alien? Oh! Oh! Ow! That that truly looked like he broke his legs. Holy! That's what you get! <laughs> Look at you! Oh, Ship God. all banged up! Huh? Where you at? <sighs> oh hell no! He Welcome just. To Earth. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. He just straight up decked an alien in the face. I love it so much. Oh my god. Okay, 
keys. Come on, keys. You think it's gonna start? Oh, wow. Everybody's packing up. They're leaving. They said there's a spaceship headed this way. I spoke with the Joint Chiefs when they arrived at Norad. They agree we must launch a counteroffensive with a full nuclear strike. Over American soil. Sir. Oh, both are Take true. Out Norad. What? Oh. It's gone, sir. We must launch. A delay now would be more costly than when you waited to evacuate the cities. No, no, you're not going to launch nuclear wow. weapons. It can't be allowed. Shut up, Captain. Get him out of here. Hey, hey, don't tell him to shut up. You'll all be dead now if it wasn't my David. <laughs> None of you did anything to prevent this. We were totally unprepared for this. Ah, don't give me unprepared. No. Area 51, right? Area uh -huh. 51. You knew then, and you did nothing. Called out. Damn. What, there have never been any spacecraft recovered by our government. Take uh, my word for it. There's no Area 51. <laughs> There's no recovered spaceship. Uh, excuse me, Mr. President. Um, That's not entirely accurate. What? Uh, not great, huh? Of course there's a freaking Area 51. Damn. Wow, we got more survivors. That's pretty good. <gasps> She's alive! Yeah! You got me out here dragging your heavy ass e through the burning <laughs> desert. And what the hell is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane that he is taking... Uh... Oh, okay, just a bunch of RVs. That's good. Okay. Holy crap. This location is insane, actually. This f completely flat desert land. Oh my god. You need a lift, soldier? When I flew overhead, I saw a base not too far from here. Is that Area 51? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Mr. President, this Love is it. Dr. Oaken. He's been heading up the research department on this project the last 15 years. As you can imagine, they, they don't let us out much. Yeah, I bet, huh? I, understand that. I know they confirmed, basically confirmed sightings of UFOs, so of course we have a true, actual, like, Area 51 in terms of this. I know there's the actual location, yes, of course. But, you know, something like this, I, I think so. Wow. It's a huge ship. And those were the things that, the tiny little things that came out with the big ship. Oh. As you can see from the repairs, we've been trying to put her back together since the late 1960s. Oh. Since these guys started showing up, all the little gizmos inside turned on. The last 24 hours have been really exciting. I bet. Exciting? People are dying out there. I don't think exciting is a word I'd choose to describe it. It's fair. You guys, you guys want to see them? Y'all want to see an alien? <laughs> oh, jeez, these guys are ugly. Can they be killed? No, oh, their bodies are just as frail as ours. You have to get through their technology, which is, I'm sorry to say, far more advanced. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, David, that's their shield. You unlock part of that technology. Why don't you show them what you've discovered so far? We'll see if you're as smart as we all hope you are. A little, a little rude. I mean, he did just save you from the White House, you know, some hours ago. Uh-oh. Uh, they're like, oh boy. I'm sorry, Captain. This is a restricted area. I can't let you pass without clearance. Come here. Uh, come here. Here's my clearance. <laughs> Here's my clearance. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll just leave this here with you. Let him pass. Yeah. Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Get your asses out of the way. <laughs> How long has it been unconscious? About three hours. Oh, it's unconscious. I didn't even realize that. Time it takes to destroy a city and move on. We're looking at the worldwide destruction of every major city in the next 36 hours. That's not a lot of time. It's Captain Stephen Hiller. I'm really anxious to get back to El Toro. Hasn't anyone told you? El Toro has been completely destroyed. Yeah. But your wife is being a hero right now, so. Yeah. Damn. So he thinks she's dead, she thinks he's dead. Oh, of course. So what do you do for a living? I'm a dancer. Yeah. Ballet. No stripper. <laughs> no. <laughs> Exotic, yes. <laughs> Put the spreader right here. Right along the ridge. Oh, it's gonna wake right, up. 
Eh. <laughs> oh, good fucking god, this scared me. Oh, they're all dead. They're all fucking dead, dude. Oh. Oh, hell no. Blood bath time. Well, that was awful. Great. Everyone's ripped apart, huh? Oh my god, Jesus. Ooh, I'm good. Open the good. door, get him out of there. No, wait. Are you yeah, out of your mind? Not hit. Oh. Can there be a peace between us? Peace. Probably not. Holy no shit. Peace. Great, that's good, thanks. It's actually like hurting my eyes, good god. Die. Oh, thanks, that's cute. Thanks so much. Ooh. Oh, good god. What? Is that glass bulletproof? No, sir. Unloaded and annihilated. I saw what they're planning to do. After they've consumed every natural resource, they move on. And we're next. Let's snoop the bastards. Yeah. I really thought for a moment that the alien just transferred its consciousness to the president and the president was going to become like an alien. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. What the hell are you doing? Get out of there! Look, I got something I gotta handle. I'm just borrowing it. No, you're not, sir. Oh, shit. Do you really want to shoot me? Just tell him I hit you. <laughs> the major cities have been deserted. Civilian casualties should be down to a minimum. That's so sad. It sucks. It really is just such a tough situation. Let's see if this works. We're locked on, sir. Do you wish to deploy? President. Deploy. That's a go. Do we think that this is gonna work? We shall see. Three, two, one. Oh no. Roger that. We're looking for confirmation. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Target remains. Yeah. Or an abort mission. Issue the abort codes right away. This is an abort, full abort. Oh. Is this a, oh shit, hey! Here we go. You're late. Huh. Oh. She doesn't look to get. Your wife is bleeding internally, Mr. Wilson. We can't stop the bleeding. Shit. There's nothing we can do for her. Fuck! Damn, she's coming back and then she's gonna die? Like, a second time? Damn. Damn, see that, that fucking sucks. It's like, let's kill the wife, find her, bring her back, but then she actually dies. That's kind of fucked up. Oh. Maybe if we screw this planet up enough, uh, they won't want it anymore. Come on, David, David, you need your rest. Come on, get off this freezing concrete floor before you catch cold, come on. <laughs> what you say? I don't want you to catch cold. Oh, genius. My dad, a total genius. Huh. Are they... <laughs> Is he thinking to spread the common cold to the aliens? See that uh, Coke can on top of the alien craft? Think you can shoot that thing off? My, my fault. That Coke can was protected by the craft's shield. We can't penetrate their defenses. We gotta get around them. One more time. Now what did he do? I gave it a virus. Yeah, oh, okay. Computer virus. I don't know why my yes, first yeah. thought was like, is he gonna give the aliens a cold and they die from it? Down into all the corresponding ships below. How exactly do we infect the mothership? <laughs> with this virus. We're gonna uh, have to um, <clears throat> fly their alien craft out of our atmosphere and dock with it. We oh, then upload shit. the virus. We don't have the manpower or the resources to launch that kind of a campaign. What else Not are we gonna do? Not to mention this whole cockamamie plan is dependent on a machine that no one in this world is qualified to operate. Well? I wouldn't say that, sir. With your permission, General, I'd like the opportunity to try. We don't even know if it's capable of flying. 
Guess we'll see if it is capable of flying. Um. And it is. Let's do it. Yeah, might as well. Again, what else are they gonna do? We have literally no other plan. You really think you can fly that thing? You really think you can do all that bullshit you just said? <laughs> You are upset over the death of your wife, but that's no excuse for making another fatal mistake. No. The only mistake no. I ever made was to appoint a sniveling little weasel like you Secretary of Defense. I was gonna... you understand? Mr. Nimziki, you're fired. Damn! Get fucked. I was really hoping that he would do that. I'm glad he did. Goodbye, little hoe bag. It's from the Americans. They want to organize a counteroffensive. <sighs> it's about bloody time. Uh. What do they plan to do? Well something a little intense get everybody around the world let's go let's go combat ready divisions good in europe the middle east and asia that's impressive considering it's all being done with the morse code wow yeah the pilots are coming up short we're asking that anyone with any flight experience come forward oh Military my god i can fly I'm pilot. He's gonna save it all. He's gonna save everybody. Ever since I was kidnapped by aliens ten years ago, mm -hmm. I've been dying for some payback, and I just want you to know that uh, I won't let you down. I think we really should be believing him at this point. You'll have thirty seconds to get your asses out of there. Great. That is not ideal. Hey, you know how I'm like I'm always trying to save the planet. Uh. There's my chance. So, how do I look? Oh, thank you. Wow. I should have done this a long time ago. Oh. You have the ring? Oh, yes, sir. Here, make yourself useful. Oh, that's good. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Oh. Forsaking all others. Woo! Here we go. In less than an hour. Aircraft from here will join others from around the world. And you will be launching the largest aerial battle in the history of mankind. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Yeah. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Good speech, honestly. Mr. President, I'd sure like to know what you're doing. I'm a combat pilot, Will. Ah. I belong in the air. Wait, wait, we gotta find some cigars. I, ne I can't. Yeah, I never yeah. Take these. Uh, my last two. Almost put a hex on the whole damn thing. Ah, so I guess cigars are kind of just like the tradition. I don't really know a lot about military or air force or anything like that, so. Missile launch. Oh, oh crap. Oh, where, where did I get? Where, which one? I picked a hell of a day to quit drinking. Oh my god. This is our victory dance. Not until the fat lady sings. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> I gotcha. In the beginning, he was like, oh yeah, no, smoking. Gonna have to suck it up for that, I guess. <laughs> Oh, really taking a big old risk here, but uh, they literally have no choice, so. Drag and roll. Oops. Oops. Well, you say we try that one again, huh? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Girl, that's all. Oh, no, no, don't leave her alone. <laughs> Look, Ryan, our primary target has shifted course. They're headed straight for us. ETA, uh -oh. 26 minutes. Damn. Oh. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Oh. Head straight for her. The hell? Don't touch them. Don't, don't, don't. They are bringing us in. Oh, shit. When the hell was you going to tell me? Oops. Major, what happens if, if that thing gets here? This facility is buried deep within the mountain. It should provide us some protection. What about the people outside? We get incoming. Yeah, I would, I would start to freak out right about now, you know? Oh, good lord. 
Oh, whole alien city. Oh. What the hell they doing? Looks like they're preparing an invasion. Yeah. Uh oh. I don't like this. This is, this is stupid. They can see us. Oh no no no! Our window. Oh god! They just oh I don't know. Plant, plant, plant. Wow! Holy shit! Sir, he's uploading the virus. Oh god! Upload complete. The virus is in. Yes! 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 Delivery complete. Engage. Delivery complete. It's a go. Eagle one. Box three. Please work. Come on. We need a miracle. Come on. This is a technically third time is a charm, yeah? Fuck. Get your people out of there. Disengage. Rear flank follows suit. Mother. Hold on, command. I want another shot at Fox three. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Job's done, let's go home. Yeah, probably not so easy, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's stuck. Of course. What? It's, stuck. it's not responding, it's stuck. Oh boy. Yeah. Y'all should have probably. Oh god. Steve. Oh god. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, what the hell are you doing? It's not me. They're overriding the system. Everybody hold someone's hand. Hold hands. Oh my God, he's. <laughs> I'm not Jewish. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> oh my God. We're running out of missiles, sir. We're just not causing enough damage. Shit. It's oh no, this is not good. Now we need those big ass nukes, right? I'm in range. Locking up. Eagle one. Fox two. That is a negative impact. Yeah. Is he gonna... He's probably gonna sacrifice himself and just launch his plane into that. Doesn't anyone have any missiles left? Sorry, I'm late, Mr. President. Oh, shit. Never mind. We'll draw him up and it'll be all yours. Eagle 20, box two. Oh, no. It's jammed. Oh, no, he's probably going to sacrifice himself. Tell my children I love them very much. Oh, shit. In the words of my generation, up yours! Hello, boys! Oh, my I'm God. Back! Holy shit. Oh my god. Well, there that goes, at least. Hope the other guys uh, all over the world had that success as well. What your father did was very brave. You should be proud of him. I am. Damn. Get out of the line to every squadron around the world. Tell them how to bring those sons of bitches down. You know, probably preferably don't have someone just completely sacrifice their life, but if, if it could be avoided, you know, that'd be good. Well, it's funny, I always thought that things like these would kill me. <laughs> they'll get out, they'll get out, they'll find yeah, a way, come on. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jolly hey, Roger. Stop looking at us. Take a look at the ice legs. Oh Goodbye. my god. Oh my god. Do you have any clue what's about to happen to him? Oh, not a chance in hell. Good night. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye. We're loose. Can you get us out of here in 30 seconds? I ain't heard no fat lady. Forget the fat I ain't lady. Heard no fat lady. <laughs> Drive us out of here. Go, 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 go. We're not here! We're not here! Stop side drop! Oh my god. No! Oh. Holy shit. Of 
course. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Woo! Holy shit. Oh! My god. Any closer. Oh! Okay, well, I spoke too soon. Great. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah! They did it. How about our two delivery boys? Any word from them? Uh, probably. Well, n not yet. Uh oh. We lost contact with Captain Hiller and Levinson nearly 20 minutes ago. Hold on, sir. I've got something on radar. Yay! They lived! <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at them. <laughs> Jeff looks like Tom Cruise in that. That's so funny. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Well done, Captain. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow. David, not bad. Uh. Oh, so this is helping? Uh. Oh, I can tell you the story. <laughs> Unbelievable. Didn't I promise you fireworks? Uh. <laughs> yeah. This works. Good. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, what a what a ride that was, huh? Oh my god. I did not necessarily expect this movie to deliver uh aliens, you know? I mean, I don't even know what I expected, but definitely not that. <laughs> this truly was an insane crazy ride from start to finish it was just right away no introduction no slow kind of parts right in the beginning of kind of setting up the story nah they just went right into it and they they oh my god it was just insanity insanity right away they literally started this movie at a point where in some movies that are kind of like this in terms of like super action-packed like adventurous insanity kind of movies like this uh they usually get to that point 20 30 40 minutes into the movie it takes like half the movie to get into it like they did right at the start and i think that's absolutely crazy to see really i definitely didn't expect that i i thought there was going to be some sort of build up but no they really just were just like yeah this is happening uh aliens yeah we're, we're fucked so they did not hold back with that this movie was really entertaining and it had a bunch of kick-ass people ranging from, you know, Will Smith to the the president even and, and Jeff, like all of them were really kick-ass characters in, in this film. I think because there was just so much that happened, so many kind of like layers and so much that was packed into like one thing, I think it felt like a two and a half hour long movie, you know what I mean? Sometimes you watch movies and you're just like, wow, that didn't feel like two and a half hours. And that's, you know, that's kind of a, a good thing. Some people say that's a good thing because you, you don't necessarily think of the time associated with the movie. I say it feels like a two and a half hour long movie, not in a bad way though. It felt long because it was kind of long because there was so much shit that was in it, you know? Even though they basically started at a point right in the beginning of like, yeah, everything's going to shit, we gotta go right away and, and figure this out. Like it was still so many like layers on top of each other and so much build up throughout that uh, it, it didn't, it really, I'm glad that they didn't put that sort of like slow build up in the beginning and they, that they just jumped right into it instead. It gave time to focus on the really cool stuff more so. And it also gave an opportunity to kind of show the different sort of like sides and the different sort of groups of characters or where these people were, you know, stationed. Like you have David, who's, you know, played by Jeff. He was in New York. And you have, you know, Stephen, uh, Will Smith's character, who was kind of, you know, in all over the place with his now wife, but he was in, 
you know, El Toro, and then he was flying around, and he was kind of all, all over the place, but he still had, like, his sort of side of things as well. And then you had, like, the president and all the things he was dealing with. So it kind of had that broken up sort of, you know, uh, storyline, which I appreciated because I always like seeing sort of the different things that are going on within uh, a story like this. So I'm glad that they gave that, like, appropriate time to those sections of people. It just made the movie flow a lot better than it would if they did it in like a completely different way, like slowly building up to that point. But yeah, it was a really entertaining movie overall. I mean, all the fight scenes were kick-ass, unsurprisingly. Got to see the aliens, which I didn't, I, I thought like in the beginning, like, I don't know why I thought like, oh, are we going to see the aliens? I don't know. I, I just like, I wasn't sure like how they were going to like present them and stuff. So I'm glad that they did show them though, because they were... Pretty scary. I can't stop laughing at what I said before. When he, when, <laughs> when David was talking to his father and like his father mentioned a cold, my peanut freaking brain goes to, are they going to give the aliens a cold and that's how they're going to kill them? Like, I don't know why my brain went to that. <laughs> I don't know why but like when David had clarified or mentioned even that it was to put a virus in there in their ships it's like oh that makes a lot more sense I couldn't stop laughing about that just like internally it's just like stupid 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 <laughs> so that was my uh big old silly moment of the day oh well I'll take it with pride it's fine but overall I had a really good time with this film very entertaining very fun I mean it's good to see the humans win in this case because those uh aliens were uh pretty big bastards honestly it'd be different if you know it was kind of flipped like the aliens had come and not so scary ships and we started to attack them and they were just like no we just wanted to Yo, like, you know, talk it out or something, you know? But nah, I don't really feel bad for the aliens in this situation. I do not. They're kind of jerks, so. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Again, I had a really good time with this. It was, uh, hopefully a good 4th of July movie, huh? Even though the name of the movie is Independence Day, I wanted to make sure that it was kind of relevant. And it ended up being kind of relevant, so we're good. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. If you would like to view the full unedited reaction to this movie and to any of the other movies that I have watched, feel free to. You can go over to my Patreon and subscribe. It is $5 a month for that. For those of you on Patreon, I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for the support over there. And I hope you guys are enjoying those full unedited reactions. And of course, if you would like to connect outside of YouTube, you absolutely can do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles, Instagram, Twitter, but I'm mainly on Twitch four days a week, Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. EST. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. All right. Have a good rest of your week, everybody. Toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. Oh, oh.